Use this meta blitz to go ahead and set up your entire defensive scheme. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to go ahead and show you a meta defense that a lot of top Madden players are using online right now. Um, it is not as effective, I don't think, as in past, but we'll see how things evolve over, over the rest of the season for Madden 20. Uh, so it is out of the nickel normal and it is the Nickel Blitz 2. Uh, and basically the way you set this up is that you're actually either sending six or sending um, sending five. Uh, you're gonna get nickel, You're gonna get the, uh, the Nickel Blitzer uh, off the edge. He should get off clean. If you send six, you get dual edge pressure and it's gonna force your opponent to go ahead and block uh, six, block seven. And now you're gonna start dictating with your defense. So uh, very easy to set this up. Um, it, you, it, it's, it's a fairly easy uh, blitz setup. It's probably not the easiest. It's not like a, a, the 34 uh, odd defense where you can set up blitz pressure and with within three steps but uh, it's diff it's definitely nice to have this because you actually have another uh, nickel defensive pl uh, player and what's cool about this particular blitz is that you can use this as your base setup what you're showing to your opponent and then start playing around the club coverages from there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and show you my controller so you can see how I set this up um, and basically it's gonna be uh, out of this nickel normal defense and it's gonna be that nickel blitz two. Now I'm gonna go against random um, shotgun plays against the CPU, so the computer will probably get a couple plays off. Uh, but for the most part, you could sh I wanna show you how the pressure comes in, and it's a nice pocket blitz to have in your back pocket when you wanna get pressure against your opponent. All right, so to set this blitz up, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna base a line. You don't wanna press or show blitz. You're gonna go ahead and hit your left uh, pad and actually go ahead and pinch defensive line, hit your right pad, pinch your linebackers, uh, and then you're gonna go ahead and go ahead and hit your left pad and, and slant inside, and then QB contain uh, your, your guys right here and then blitz all so there is it's it, the, 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 the Blitz seems like it's pretty hard to set up, but it really is not that bad now Another thing you could do too is you want to bring these guys down to the line right here And you want to use your this guy on this side and the trick to this is that you don't want to hover over this guard Because you'll pass off you want to go ahead and go right over the this line this Defensive lineman over the middle and that's gonna actually force the defensive line to compensate for it So as you can see the pressure actually comes in uh, fairly simple and if he doesn't block a running back if he doesn't block a running back you see you've got the dual edge pressure and the key to this particular blitz is basically getting these these tackles on an island uh, with the pressure and then having four guys coming in the middle and the guard and the tackle don't know what to do with it so they have to pass people off giving that pressure off the edge to go ahead and get easy pressure against your CPU. Now the problem with this defense is that you're going to essentially go ahead and being on an island and you've got to cover the middle of the field so you have to anticipate per someone's routes so if he does run five routes or he sends out five routes uh, you're going to have to go ahead and make sure you take away those seam routes. A lot of adjustments that a lot of top Madden players will do is they'll go ahead and, and cross man these defenders to bring them down or they'll put their defenders in different types of coverages but this is an easy blitz to go and set up and get uh, get pressure set up against nickel defenses and it's going to give you an extra extra um, uh, guy that you can go ahead and use for coverage type situation so I want to show this to you again we're going to base a line we're going to pinch we're going to go ahead and pinch these linebackers we're going to blitz all cubing contain I uh, you want to slide this guy down uh, and then actually go ahead and use this guy right over. And one of the, the last adjustment is you want to slant inside so you've got this type of pressure right here. And you just want to go ahead and, and, and hover over that guard and that's going to get that pressure off the edge. So computer doesn't really have any kind of time to do that. Pinch defensive line, pinch the linebackers, blitz all, cube and contain, uh, and then uh, go ahead and pinch down. Slide this guy down if you got time. And then you're going to use with this guy over the middle and you want to basically go ahead and look for the threats over the middle of the field so if you can see right here the pressure uh it comes off the edge so you got the pressure set up slide this guy down so it's it's a it's fairly easy to set up but you know you have to you have to be very conscious of of what's going on in the middle of the field to get get those interception opportunities base the line pinch the line pinch the linebackers Cube contain, and then we're going to pinch down. 
And this is the trick is you need to slide that defensive back down and that's where things can get a little bit risky for you, but that should help a little bit. And as you can see, the pressure just comes screaming out. So good blitz to have in your back pocket. Probably want to go ahead and use this in a complement of other dif different types of coverages, maybe a cover two or cover six invert. Um, maybe go ahead and just run coverages out of it. Uh, but if you have this in your back pocket, you can go ahead and have some pretty good pressure against your opponent and still have that nickel coverage out there. So guys, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive defensive tips to take your game to the next level. Thanks a lot. Until next time.